Right on. Racing. And caught them pretty well out wide, Del Sol, Belzevere, and Hero Wind in good manners today. Jump best of all with Hunza Court getting away very fast indeed. So too was Kaylee, the Kiwi Spears, through the pack to take up a lead from winning hand. Over on the inside, Mars Party, they were followed by Elegancy, and then came Alpina Scorn Bolt, another excuse. Centre field, Lord Lusk on the inside. Up there with it too was Corregidor, Del Sol's about four and five deep. Clang on the inside of the stable mate, Flavor, followed by Belzevere, shuffled back. They were followed by Torazal, then came Century Blaze further back in the field then came Dry Humour and last is the uh, New Zealand filly and that's La Rose Noir around the home turn and it's Mars Pai to the inside and Kayleigh from Hero Wind Elegancy back in behind them Alpine and eating a run there's a tightening there with winning hand and over on the outside Hunza Court and Corregidor they were followed by Del Sol who's never seen the rail taking a short cut now as Flavor further back in the field then behind Elegancy was Torrezello got checked and down the outside here's another excuse and Belzevere starting to let go Clang got to the front. Belzevere at the extreme outside has raced up now. And Belzevere goes to the front with another excuse. And Belzevere doing just a little too well for another excuse. Belzevere wins it for old Jim Houlihan. Second placing another excuse. Third is tight. The stable mates clang in flavour. Then Corregidor followed by Del Sol, a big run. It was always wide. Century Blaze ran on pretty well from Lord Luskin. Then came Alpina followed by Scorn Bold. They were followed back behind them by Dry Humour, Hunza Court. Then Mars Party winning hand well back to Torazel, La Rose Noir, Elegancy, Hero, Wind, and one of the last in after being a leader was Kayleigh after the early stages. Belzevere swooping down the centre, beyond the centre in fact, has reached the lead and gone on to score from another excuse and uh, the stable mates clang and flavour back to the inside. But Belzevere is trained by that grand old man of Australian racing, Often thought of as a grand jumping trainer, Jim Houlihan. But, of course, his deeds in recent times with some outstanding stayers. And now the sprinter, Belzevere, he's watching in the Rosebud, uh, Rosebud, I should say, pub tab in Victoria. Congratulations to you, Jim. The number is up. Number 18, Belzevere, written by Michael Carson, giving Michael a big double. He won the opening event. And now the feature group won on this six-year-old brown gilding who's by Bellotto, who stands in South Australia. Out of Elsevier, raced by W. Langford, Mrs. S. McGee, W. Juice, R. Hetherington and K. Jarvis, Michael Carson for Jim Houlihan and coming from an extremely wide alley. Number three is second. Number three, another excuse. Almost got the money written by Gavin Eads for Ralph Jury by Sunmaster from Rompelong. And third placing to number six, Clang, who has just tipped out the other stable mate. Clang, like the winner, is also by Bellotto, who stands at Powermar Stud here in South Australia, out of a mare called Sudden Impulse. All right, Belzevere winning. And uh, just having a look at uh, the fifth horse here, Corregidor, at about 100 to 1. The Alice Springs train gallop has been beaten two lengths. It's not a bad run, is it? But the winner far too good for them. We'll be back to Ron Paps for more from the Goodwood Handicap. In the meantime, here's a replay. Now, Belzevere comes around the outside of another excuse. Another excuse pushes out to get wide. Belzevere trying to hold it in. Well, not really, but runs out there of its own accord. Now, they just brush slightly there. And then the other horse gets into the clear. Another excuse had an unimpeded run. Oh, uh, well, the stewards will have the benefit of a head-on, but uh, I don't think it'll take very long. Pakenham. They're off and running. Protest Kimber it's a Rosebank a little bit slow to get going. The others have bounced away fairly well with Flaxbourne Flyer showing some pace out deep. There's the favourite just to run it going right up towards the front where they settle down and Sir Rosebank picks up speed now. Over on the inside further back behind those would have been Electro Invader on the outside then Sterling Emblem from Australis Bazaar. Brilliant poet in on the fence followed by Gold Draw Juice and further back then Liespion followed by Batten Boy and Exciting Ranch. It's Sir Rosebank on the outside of just a runner coming into the straight now and three out as Flexbourne Flyer. Sterling Emblem inclined to get up on the bidders court out to the little wide around Australis Bazaar. Brilliant poet on the fence. A length further back in the race, Electro Invader, Gold Draw. Juice is four deep at the winning post and two further back, Liespion. 
On the inside, Batten Boy, an exciting ranch last of all. Sir Rosebank takes over now with about 1,750 to go. A length in front now from Flexbourne Flyer and Just a Runner gets the favours, third the rail. Then Sterling Emblem up fourth, one off the fence and Juice three out on the inside, Brilliant Poet. Back running sixth and they're followed by Australis Bazaar. Gold Drawer is three wide, further back on the fence, Electro Invader from Laespion. Exciting Ranch and Batten Boy down the side, 1,500 metres to go. And Sir Rosebank about three quarters in front. Here's Gold Draw pulling a bit on the rider. He lets it stride now and Gold Draw goes up on the outside to hit the front. Gold Draw turns into the back and leads two lengths now. In second placing Sir Rosebank, one and a half further back than Flexbourne Flyer. On the fence, just a runner getting a nice run. Goes up third now. Flexbourne Flyer running fourth, two to Sterling Emblem. Then Brilliant Poet saving ground inside uh, Stratus Bazaar and Juice still three deep at the thousand. Two further back in the race then Lias Beyond from Exciting Ranch. Then came Electro Vader who lost ground and last of all Batten Boy. Around the turn at the 8.50 metre mark, Gold Draw nearly a length in front. On the outside, Sir Rosebank second. Two further back, just a runner from Flexburn Fly at the outside. Sterling Emblem out three deep has gone up fifth and off the track, then Lee Aspion. Brilliant Poet back on the inside of Australis Bazaar. Further back in the race then came to the outside, Juice. They bunch up, 5.50 out. Sir Rosebank hit the front, Gold Draw's gone. Brilliant Poet had to check around it. Just a runner pushes up in the middle. Sterling Emblem let go around the outside. Sterling Emblem got to the front from Lee Aspion. Then just a runner under pressure. And now Brilliant Poet gets out, runs to fourth on the point of the turn Sterling Emblem the leader just a runner fighting on and here's Lias beyond finishing well and Brilliant Poe at the top weight going for a run trying to get through Sterling Emblem in front now from Lias beyond just a runner Brilliant Poe starting to poke through in the middle across the track now out wide Lias beyond hit the front from Sterling Emblem and Brilliant Poe at the inside Sterling Emblem comes back again and Sterling Emblem Sterling Emblem a long head to either Brilliant Poe or Lias beyond and a great finish a gap Australis Bazaar just a runner, exciting ranch, then Batten Boy. A gap in the race, then to Gold Draw, well back, then Flaxburn Flyer, Sir Rosebank, then Electro Invader, and Juices last of all. Six Sterling Emblem, 590, 180 for the miners, one brilliant power, two even, three Le Lespion, $1.90. Back. Six Sterling Emblem, Super Tab, 730, 210, one brilliant power, $2, three Lespion to pay $2 even. As we go out to the Canberra race course, here's Michael Heath. Yes, uh, g'day Paul, and winding up a pretty difficult day at Canberra, the wet tracks played havoc with a lot of uh, good fences. Hey. Two or three of these jockeys yelling out, not ready. <laughs> And away they go, pretty tidy dispatch two and over on the inside, Dulcibella pinged out running, came away quickly with Socket Babe and going through the pack is Bell Diable. Also prominent in the early part as they settled down was Jazz Along, followed by Southlands, Miss Harndorf, Key Printer, followed by Dr. Mabuse, bet on Black Court Deep. Looking east the inside, Neutron Star third, last second last, bound to perform and drifting back towards the tail of the field now as Jazz Along as they come towards the turn into the straight now and as they do so, passing the 600 metre mark here in the lead over on the inside, Dulcibella. Key print have lost ground sharply and drifted right back. It's gone back towards the tail of the field. Bell Diable went to the front. Lucky day into the clear out wide and then Socket Babe. They were followed by Southland starting to run on out wide. Tunnel style just in behind those. In the straight it's Dulcibella hard up against the inside. Socket Babe out deep. Southland's Miss Harndorf and Lucky Day are all coming and Bet on Black is getting a run between them. They're across the track. Miss Harndorf goes to Lucky Day. Lucky Day Bet on Black is flying. Bet on Black, Lucky Lucky day, maybe lucky day from Bet on Black and Neutron Star out under the grandstand. Between horses Southlands, Miss Harndorf. They were followed close handy then by Socket Babe and then came looking east Dr Mabuse, born to perform. Well back in the field behind those Dulcibella, Bell Diable. Further back in behind those then came Ton of Style followed by Jazz Along and Key Printive. Has this just held on lucky day? All right, very close. The one out wide's got close. It's probably run second, but uh, they've raced it to Woomba. We'll have a replay shortly. Let's go to Kembla. Here's Kev. Moving in uh, pretty well here, waiting for just San Reno to come up and uh, also Mighty Morphin. We'll leave Kev there. Thanks, Kev. Now, there's the Adelaide photo. One is the winner, Lucky Day, hanging on. 4.30, Wins by a nose from seven. Bet on black, 3.80 and 14. Neutron star, about a neck away third, 14.30. Great finish to end the day at Morfordville and we look forward to Monday for the Adelaide Cup. Here's a replay of the previous event. The next of the day, number 12 is the super tab favourite, Bird Royale. I'd suggest here that putters again have stuck with the strength of Paul Harvey. He's got an enormous following 
And many of his mounts do start a bit under the odds. And I think this filly probably fits into this category, although her form lately has been ultra consistent. At $3.90, pick light moving up there in the famous Holmes Accord colours, Shades of Savile going in. And we're waiting on four or five to come up. There is a meeting here, of course, on Monday, which will coincide with the big Adelaide Cup program and a full telecast on Sky Channel. Now, Juendi is moving up. Victory Grin to move in. And uh, the Philly Centrillo will be the last to complete the line. Centrillo, the Oaks trial winner back during the summer. Walks forward, starter boy Hutchison around onto the stand. There's the light now. True and officer to steady. Stand by. Now the line's ba balanced and they're off in the Belmont Guineas and our venture just caught on the back leg slightly. Farmer Brown and key target Bird Royale out quickly. The grey victory grin striding across and Centrillo's going to take them on. Centrillo at the 1400 moved up and drew a neck in front of victory grin. Farmer Brown's a length and a half away third followed then by key target Bird Royale. True and officer then came on the inside strike swiftly. Pick light caught out three wide but being sent forward. Regal Yarns on the inside of grey Jackamar. Then our venture and Yasmin Tudor followed by Juendi, Danzig Pro and last of all Shades of Savile. They steady the speed now as they go along to the thousand metres mark and the Guineas and Centrillo leads the way. She's worked away to a clear break now. Pick light second. On the inside Victory Grin, Grey Jackamar pulling his way around them. A length and a half to key target followed then between horses by Farmer Brown. Over on the inside being heeled along and losing ground strike swiftly passed around them by Duendi and Bird Royale. They're going at the same time. Regal Yarn getting off the fence joined by Truant Officer and our venture. Third from last is Yasmin Tudor and they're being followed by Danzig Pro and between them Shades of Savile coming onto the corner 450 metres out in the guineas now and Centrillo first around the turn led from Grey Jackamar on the inside Victory Grin. Here comes Juendi being popped the question. Key target pick light Farmer Brown and next and then strike swiftly Bird Royale. Truant Officer followed by our venture. Regal Yarn still a long way back. Juendi reached the lead at the 170. Key target is now giving chase to Juendi He's hard at work on Juendi. Key target on the outside from our venture. Bird Royale late. Key target picks up Juendi and Key target wins the guineas. Key target first. Juendi second. Bird Royale may be third from our venture. Shades of Savile. Centrillo a better run. And they were followed by Grey Jackamar. Farmer Brown. True and Officer strike swiftly. Then came Regal Yarn. Yasmin Tudor. Danzig Pro. Well back to Pick Light who pulled up quickly and so did True and Officer. At the tail of the field. Victory Grin finishing about midfield. Waiting for placings after the Belmont Guineas key target. Ridden by Jason Whiting. Giving young Jason one of his most important victories. Has gunned down Juendi, which had surged to the front. And Bird Royale got going late in proceedings with our venture. It's 13-10 and a photo finish for third. Key target by Sir Heed from right on target. Raced by Colin Green and Stan Quinlivan. Two very well-known racing identities here in the West. Prepared by Lou Luciani and ridden by Jason Whiting, a former apprentice of the Luciani stable. And she has finished on too strongly for Juendi, which may have gone a little before acceptors there. She's a mere filly that likes to sit up and have one ping at them. And she went to the front at about the 350 metres mark and was run down. Key target will pay 750 and 270. Duendi 330. It's a photo third, possibly Bird Royale. Paul Harvey over on the inside. A dividend of a dollar sixty. 137.15. The time posted here by the winner. Key target. Which Key target too good. Beautifully ridden there. 13, 10 and a photo, possibly 12. And it's a quartet race. We'll bring you those four numbers after this break. <laughs> 